Previously on Survivor. She has this girl power thing with Cassie. Um, like, it's so stupid. Like, oh, like we're gonna take over the game and go to the final two girl power. But hey, girl power, me and Cassie. I know people really underestimate me, but like, I've been like really playing this game. It's just in the end, we're not on an island. Some good Will's advantages. Final two. I think that's why it's a final two. I told everyone everything because I can't keep a goddamn secret. <laughs> Austin, I tried his token. I could have gotten screwed over so many points tonight. Aaron could have walked right up to them and been like, all right, let's vote out Will, he's the biggest threat. Like she could have done that, but she didn't. They voted out Austin instead. They made it the, e they took the easy way out and they voted out Austin. And if we'd had more time to let this cook for a week or something, it could have been me, but it wasn't. We had to scramble, we had to figure out what to do and they took the easy way out and we all voted out Austin, the easy way out. And now, sorry Austin, that probably sounds mean. I love you kid, I love you kid. But like, I mean, after your last blow up, you blew up. The second he started yelling at us over voting her out is the second that his game ended. Down goes Sabu Sabu. So here I am, final Sabu Sabu remaining. Uh, it's been sad, sad to see Austin and Eliza picked off one by one. Um, but but this has always been the goal, you know, to to be the last Sabu Sabu standing. Although. You know, I didn't. I didn't think it would happen this early. Ideally, I was, you know, fighting with them till the end. But it was good that I met up with Will and Devin beforehand because I had already reached out to them about voting out Brady, and the fact that if Brady didn't go home that week, then we'd vote out Austin, and then if Austin went out that week, we'd vote out Brady the next, which is this week. Um, so the fact that I already had that plan in place before, it was a lot easier to get Will and, and Devin like, um, like maintained um, afterwards. So there was, there was less havoc, um, even though we only had 15 minutes to talk about it. The fact that I had already reached out to them and we'd already talked beforehand um, made it a lot less chaotic, which pretty much led to the unanimous decision to voting out Austin as everybody went with, the, went with the safe bed there. So the plan, saying to everybody, Austin, Austin, Austin. Then I talked to Austin, and I asked him, I was like, so what's the, like, what is, have people told you, like, what's going on? And he said, I haven't been told anything. So, like, nobody's telling this kid anything, so clearly he's going to catch on. So I just throw out, you know, okay, so we'll go Cassie then. Because that would be the easy vote, right? Because Dylan and Brady both have immunity. Uh, but I don't know why, who would you get an advantage from this game? What? The votes are obviously split 2-2 two -two on Will and Devin. Which one, which idiot from us four was like, hey, let's get an advantage to the other side? Like, ah, oh, that's just frustrating to me. Something I talked about with Will when it comes down to it, you or I or basically anybody else needs to win except for Brady, um, either one of these challenges. I mean, I've kind of accepted it, this fact. Like, everyone knows that I'm just a big fucking target <laughs> so I mean it it does suck but I don't think I think that's just like who I am as a person like I'm a very social person I'm a very competitive person very athletic person and I think like that just kind of culminates into me being a threat I don't think I would have played this game any differently or made any other choices or different like personality changes to myself to try to do something else because like I've gone, I've enjoyed myself, and I've been myself, and this is where I'm at, so. I like kind of like envision, um, you know, like myself in like a bunker while like there's just like bombs going off like around me, like Eliza makes a big move, or like Austin's like emotional, like, you know, like, I don't know, like outbreak comes out. Um, and like, there's just been so many, so many things going on around while I've been just like kind of like in this bunker hiding and like maybe like have like a sniper like like slowly like sniping people like so now sabu sabu and co you know the people who decided to go with them like will um they're at the bottom you know i think what it comes down to is that i think i just have a big ego i think that i think that i'm a bigger target than i actually am like 
What if no one really gives a shit about me? They voted out Elisa because they thought she was a big threat. They thought she was a bigger threat than me. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe I need to just start acting. Like I said at the merge, I needed to start acting stupider. No, I said that before the merge. I said that at the first tribe swap. I was going to start kind of playing dumb. I think I got to get real dumb. And it feels damn good to be a Tafiti right now. So, you know, Aaron now being an honorary Tafiti, which is what I think, you know, I think she's really with us. Is a good place to be. I feel great right now. But, uh, you know, here I am and, and I'm happy that I'm here, but it, it could be me next week. Welcome to your next immunity challenge. Cassie sadly could not join us today. But first things first, Dylan and Brady, I will take them both back. Not even gonna help me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to be in a showman's with this kid? It's not me, man. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Cooper, you have a boyfriend. Sorry, I forgot about Ben for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, immunity is Back up for grabs, here's today's challenge. I will read you a story. There are quizzes that you will take and you have to get all 10 answers correct to win the challenge. Spelling does count. However, you cannot answer the quiz until you have stacked a pyramid of cups. The first time you stack it, it will be a 3D pyramid with 20 cups. After that, you can try the quiz. If you get it wrong, you'll have to go down to the posting wall. The story will be posted there, where you can get a second look at it. You can have as much time as you want there. You'll then have to come back up, rebuild a smaller pyramid, and then you can try the quiz again until somebody gets it right. First person to get all 10 inches on the quiz correct will win the challenge. When you are stacking your cups, you can only use your feet to stack them. You can use your hands to take them down if you ever need to restack, but when you are building your pyramid, you can only use your feet while sitting in the chair. Draw for spots and get started. All right, I will read the story and then say go, and you guys can start building your first pyramid. So here we go. The Blind Men and the Elephant by James Baldwin. Once upon a time, there were six blind men who stood by the roadside every day. They begged for the people who passed, but living in Burundi, others rarely had money to give them. They had often heard of elephants, but they had never seen one, for being blind, how could they? It so happened one morning that an elephant from Lakota was driven down the road where they stood. Each believed that he knew just how the animal looked, and each called the others hard names because they did not agree with him. People who have eyes sometimes act as foolishly. Everybody ready. Survivors ready. Go. This challenge is on Dennis's cups right away. Brady almost working on his third. 
cup stack he would be a huge part of this challenge. Yes. It's so hard. Oh. Probably not the best place for that. Brady. Oh, there you are. With a couple cups left, but let's see if his bases no! are strong enough. Okay. Brady's power takes a tumble. Will now working on his third row. Will drops a cup. It's long dead. What did he say? Devin's falls. Dylan and Brady both with two cups on their third row, both getting very close to finishing. Are you three motherfucking three. kidding me? Brady and Dylan both with one cup left do not want to knock down their stack. Dylan is done. Dylan, hey, go. first one. Brady right behind him, both moving on to the quiz. Let's see what they remember from the story. It's been almost 12 minutes now. Will almost finished with his second row. Devin was done with his second. Now it looks a little empty. Oh, come on. Fucking stop shaking. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> Will looking to place his final cup. Very close. Will is done. Will can move on to the quiz, joining Brady and Dylan. Oh. Devin and Aaron still working on their Can you do it? My hands don't work anymore. Brady said he ate shit on the stairs. He is okay, now de-stacking his cups. Only has to build a 2D pyramid with 10 of them now. Devin both working on their second row. I'm going. Will. Brady is coming for a check. Brady is not right. He has to try again. That is good. Devin is moving on to the quiz. Dylan tried the quiz for the second time. Devin on his first. Will, now back, but before he tries the quiz again, has to build his 2D pyramid. Do you fight love too? Erin now on her third row. For the third time! She is almost there. Cooper. That's why I hate Will's that I suck at this. Will's good, Will's the quiz again. Devin does not even give it a check. Devin, Devin go right. Right back right. down. Will trying the quiz. Let's see if his couple journeys down to the coasting wall that helps him. Cooper. Can I change an answer? No. No. Nope. He'll give it back to you if he says no. Yeah, you don't have to run it down. No. Do I have a double somewhere? I'm gonna be so fucking angry, I do. Will is correct and wins the challenge. Yay! It was like I misspelled her, Rocky. Okay. Oh. I hate the cups! That was it? What's that one? That's 
question though too. Yeah, it's a tonight. Dude, I spelled it. That's some bullshit. Do I have to go again? I misspelled no, Burundi. I misspelled Burundi. I'm pissed off because I knew all the fucking answers and I just couldn't. Like I just can't. <laughs> Where's your phone? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, Alright, congratulations, Will. Come and get it. Yeah. Will is safe this week at Tribal Council. Has a one in five shot at winning this game. Thanks, Cooper. And that is all we have for you. We'll see you for Tribal after Thanksgiving break. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Grab your stuff, head on out. Good night. Oh my god, I am on such an adrenaline high right now. I'm so fucking stoked right now. Look at this shit. Look at this. I want immunity. I want immunity, finally. Jeez. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I think that even though Brady was going to beat me, um, the fact that I was so close behind him, um, I think it made him think a little bit differently and it ended up coming down to just one letter that he messed up, um, which allowed Will to win. And I'm not going to take credit for that, but like Will won that challenge. Should have had the second one, but <laughs> Burundi does not have an E, which I will never misspell ever again. <laughs> and let me just tell you, this challenge is awful. You're just in the midst of a bunch of sweaty, stinky feet while you're trying to stack a pyramid of fucking solo cups with your stinky, sweaty feet. I find out that there's a component where you have to run up and down three flights of stairs. Even in regular life, I don't take stairs even one floor because I have a bad knee. And I take stairs like a 80-year-old grandmother who's had three hip replacements. Everything went beautiful. The conversation with Dylan was beautiful. He's on board. He wants Brady out. Uh, and then touchy subject, I got the advantage. I found out that there's a final two and then promptly told everyone else in the game. But you know, whatever. At least, I don't know. I don't bullshit people. I guess I tell it how it is. Will just for some reason gave everyone what his clue was, which was Kind of like, well, that's why you won most likely to not keep a secret in touchy subjects, but... <laughs> well, it surprised me that people would, like, vote me, like, most likely to, like, backstab you and, like, most paranoid. I was surprised about that, too. Well, yeah. I wasn't surprised about the most paranoid one. Yeah. No, I mean, that one made sense, but it was like, I got that. I was surprised about like... the most likely to backstab you one. Yeah. yeah I've, I've put Dylan for that one, because he just yeah. stole Brady's immunity. Yeah, <laughs> like... he did. That made sense. Uh, touchy subjects. With the question where it was like, who do you least trust in the game? And Aaron put in my name. Um, like I can tell, like I've I've basically ruined that relationship a little bit. Um, and she hasn't really reached out to me individually, or even like me and Cassie together. So um, she's super skeptical. Um, it'll be interesting to see how she plays when Brady's gone. And I think I trust Cassie a little bit more than Dylan, just because Cassie's kind of been loyal the whole time, and I've been loyal to her. And she's kind of seen that while well, Dylan like you know he stole my immunity he tried to he voted for me once I mean Cassie did was gonna vote for me but she didn't have a vote so I can't really hold that too far against him but Dylan did steal my like immunity and then Cassie did like bitch him out for it which I was like good like show the loyalty to Tafiti but so like earlier in the week I was like you know we should like flip on Dylan and just like go with it mm -hmm. but now I'm like what's safe like that's that's what I thought. Like, I feel like it'd be safer to go and just vote out Devin, but I feel like a power move would be to vote out Dylan, then we get the clout for it. Um, Brady had suggested to me earlier, like maybe flipping on Dylan and Cassie. The easy thing to do, and what I would like to do, is to get Devin out this week. He's really like. He's not gonna be bitter. I don't think. I think he's just gonna be like, yeah, it makes sense. I think he's just you like know? expects it's like he never really play much of a game. Right. I think that's what he's riding on at this point. I think that is, he's like hoping people are just going to drag him to the end, and then when he gets there, he's got like a whole speech planned of like, yeah, yeah and he's actually, like I've been behind every single vote. Yeah. Yeah. Individually talk to Dylan and Cassie and say like, like now that we know it's a final two, is there any situation where you don't take the other one? 
We have, I think it makes sense to split up one of them this week and one of them. I agree with that completely. So there's a new alliance. It's um, Devin, Will, and Dylan. Three guys. Squad. Squad. Of Muslims. Muslims and men. <laughs> that was a good name. I like that. Our alliance is called Of Mumps and Men. You know, Of Mumps and Men is apparently the antidote to girl power. Or more like. Um, no, I guess girl power is the antidote, and of mumps and men is the, uh, like, the disease. But I think the disease is going to win this time, hopefully. You know, I, I knew at some point, you know, like, I would be in a position like this where, you know, I have to, like, leverage my relationship with Dylan. And so I've really been, you know, trying to work with that. I'm working, like, like three different angles at this point because I've got Devin that nobody knows about. I've got me, Devin, and Will. And then I've got me and Cassie, and then Cassie and Aaron like f forcibly are gonna be together after this week. So I'm just gonna be swinging between the two groups and then within those two groups between Cassie and Devin. So what do you think about moving forward after that? Do you have any thoughts? Like where do you see the rest of your game going? No, I definitely like, I like this a lot. Yeah. Especially the fact that like nobody knows yeah, about no it. No one knows. Yeah. No one knows about it. So uh -huh. we can literally just fly under the radar and then yeah. we just take it by like what's happening like at the challenges mm -hmm. and then we can just like go from there. We could yeah. like, I mean like, I'm thinking next week, like whoever did not win immunity, mm -hmm. we just, us three go against, goes against like- Yeah, I'm yeah. like be 100% down for that. When it comes down to it, Dylan knows what a threat Brady is, and he wants Brady gone. And we find out he got a 36 on the ACT twice. <laughs> twice? Um, yeah. Well, you have to retake it if you get a 36. Why? They, they, they oh, they're sure you're not cheating. Oh, really? So you have to, you have to take it twice. Okay. Is that a perfect score? I'm, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, perfect yeah. Score. Okay, yeah. All 36 right. perfect score, so he's got a 36 twice. Mm -hmm. So the dude's kind of just smart as shit. Wow. Okay, <laughs> wow. so that's definitely threatening. Yeah. Um, I mean, he is a jack of all trades. No, he is. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's, he's so a built dude, too. very social, very, very likable, and just like a genius. I know. And if I was watching this, I would be rooting yeah, for. Him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, would. yeah, yeah, definitely. Once Brady's gone, it's going to be easy to get rid of Aaron. And then at that point, it's final four. Me and Devin sure as hell aren't going to go against each other. The only, and Cassie's probably not gonna go against Dylan, but Dylan, he will absolutely throw Cassie under the bus because Dylan played so low key this entire game. He barely did anything the whole game. And now at the end of the day, he's kinda like trying to be a little bit of a traitor, <laughs> like to make big moves. Like, and like, I don't hold any grudge against him. It makes sense. He's gotta make big moves from his perspective. It's time he starts playing. But he's just throwing people under the bus that were loyal to him like for a long ass time. And thank God, because Dylan is the exact force of nature that I need to exploit right now to get me to the end. I right. mean, I think yeah. they still would vote for him over like a lot of us for sure. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, I totally think yeah. so. But I mean, like, like if Aaron like gets to the final two with like Brady and she basically took him there, then like there's like a huge case for Aaron at yeah. that point. Like, even if they were against each other, like, I mean, I feel like it would be Brady, but I don't know. Like, I could see them even voting for Aaron over Brady. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe now that you, like, think about it, maybe that's what she's been thinking. Like, yeah. maybe she thinks that she could out-argue him at the end. Because, like, I think a lot of people who got voted out even, like, would, would still vote for her. Like, I could see... Like, like they respect like, her, yeah, I guess. They respect right, her. Yeah. yeah. Aaron. She started out the game where everyone took advantage of her. She was in the dark, she was manipulated, but then Aaron realized that everyone was fucking with her and she took charge of the game. She was in the middle and she took complete control, you know, every vote was dictated by what Aaron wanted to happen. And she's just running this game straight towards the finale. And you know what? That story needs to end. That narrative needs to end. We kind of came to like the conclusion like Aaron has played a really good game, but it's just been a very low key good game. She's been swinging between groups. Um, the the play to keep Brady in the game using her immunity idol, like in front of the jury, that was a huge move. Um, so honestly, between who's left, I honestly think if Brady's gone this week, Aaron could be like the biggest threat 
at Final Tribal. I think, you know, uh, Dylan's on the same page with that. Like, he sees Aaron's story as becoming too threatening. Um, and it's like her relationship with Cassie is becoming too threatening too. And like, I think Dylan is like seriously ready to just bro down and do this final three. We'll be set on that, meet again before um, Tribal, but- With Cassie. Yeah, with Cassie. Yeah. And then um, yeah. we'll go into it. Dylan has been been a really good ally. Like he's he's been pretty loyal. Um, honest with me, which has been great, and I've stayed loyal to him this whole game. But I know this week, like, I yeah. think Brady's gotta go. Cassie's definitely on board to get out Brady, because Aaron, or because Cassie has wanted Brady out of this game since the merge, basically. I honestly think, though, that, like, a lot of the, like, negativity is sort of, for the most part, gone now. Like, I think it's been much more positive in the last few weeks mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone has this weird thing, with, had this weird thing with me for a while. Yeah, I know. That was really weird. I just, like, I was kind of hurt by it, like, the first, like, after that first tribal, but then, like... Have you felt better? Well, I mean, obviously now, do you feel like all the people who were really promoting that are gone, right? But like, I didn't feel like there was anything to apologize for. Yeah. Like, I didn't say anything like hurtful about their characters, and like, I got lumped in a lot with Chloe, who like did kind of take it to that level. Yeah. But like, why would I apologize for something? And it almost endorses something that I didn't do. Yeah. And so like, that was that was my thought process with it because I'm not going to take credit for things that Chloe said because it's not. That's not, yeah, it's not, not your how responsibility I felt. to either exactly. way. After the the Rocks tribal, everybody lumped me in with this mean girl character. My name was on the block a lot. I mean, pretty sure I have the most votes out of anybody who's left now. Actually, I'm positive about that, which is a lot to think about. I mean, people have been trying to get me out and had the, had me up there for one of the people to strike at every week, and I'm still here fighting each week. Cassie kicks ass. Cassie is a strong ass fucking competitor and I want that to be known like, like Jesus in that balloon popping challenge, like Cassie was so aggressive and like my poor little balloon was terrified of her feet. Like that girl kicked ass. But I don't know, yeah, I guess I don't, I don't really know what'll happen after that. Yeah. Like I'm not planning on voting you tomorrow. I'm not planning to do anything yeah. crazy like that. But like, yeah. I just don't know what's gonna happen and like right. no hard feelings. No, no hard feelings. my point. She said to my face straight up, like, depending upon who wins immunity and what, you know, that it's gonna affect what is gonna happen next, which I think was basically, I think Cassie was slightly bullshitting me and she was more or less saying that, like, if if Will loses immunity, she's gonna wanna vote me out. Like, I think, I think that's what Cassie was saying, but also she was acting like she wa she was trying to like play it like she also wants to keep her options open and like potentially work with me in the future to get out Aaron, I guess if Aaron's a bigger threat, but like I was shocked that Aaron didn't get voted like most deserving to win or most likely to win because really? I think, yeah, because I think she's been completely in control of the game since the merge. So I basically spent a long time just telling Cassie like, yo, these are all the reasons why Aaron's gonna beat you in the end. Like she wants to go to the end with you and she's gonna beat you at the end. Like, and, and, like straight up, like look at the jury, they're all gonna vote for Aaron. I think Aaron wants to go to final two with you. Like that's like really? my suspicion, that's yeah. what I think. Oh, I don't, I don't know if she can beat me. Yeah? <laughs> she thinks that it's the final three challenge with the, oh, I mean like, like you don't think she could beat you like at the very end, like with two people, like, like on the, the jury. In the challenge or even in the jury. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think it would be really interesting to see that, for sure. Yeah. Like, you would probably get, like, all the tahiti votes, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. And, like, Cassie literally thinks that, like, she could beat Aaron. She was like, oh, yeah, I would kick Aaron's ass at any challenge, and I would take all of her, all the votes from the jury from her at the end. Like, I would not, I would win, she would lose, I would beat Aaron. And I think Cassie's just completely wrong. I've continually orchestrated a lot of the votes, gotten my name out there, and played a hard game just to survive. I think Cassie has a completely wrong read on the jury, and I don't think she realizes how much they all respect Aaron's gameplay. And this is like something that I'm gonna need to keep harping to Cassie for the next few weeks. How does Cassie think that she's gonna win it, it, it beat Aaron if she went to the final two? She fundamentally doesn't understand Survivor, <laughs> that's why. She just doesn't get it. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know, I'm nervous now that like, People are beginning to seem like are begin are gonna start thinking like, you know, this is probably the person like this is the person that could win this game, so we should get her out. But I think that as long as Brady and I are both in the game and both watching each other's backs, I think we should be fine. I don't want to vote for Devin. 
I know you're not gonna vote for Dad. Oh, that's fair. So I'm gonna vote for Brady. That's fair. And I feel like I wish you would too. <laughs> but, I, but I'm I'm not gonna do that if it's gonna make a tie. Is the thing, especially. Will's pitch to me made a lot of sense if I wasn't if I wasn't taking Brady to the end of the game. I would I might have like listened to him. I might have gone along with that if Brady wasn't my number one ally because it was very convincing. If final three is you, me, and Devin. Yeah. If you win that last challenge, who are you taking? I might take Devin. Because <laughs> I think I could beat him. Right. I think you would beat me. I I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> like that's... He straight up told me he's taking Devin over me. And he basically put it out there that like anybody is not taking you to the final two. And so, and I know that that's probably true, with the exception of Brady. Aaron is my target from now on. I'm making that clear to everyone. I have no intention of meeting with Aaron anymore. I have no intention of working with Aaron anymore. She's a great person. I'd love to be her friend in this game. But from now on, I need to have a clear and uh, a clear message, a clear and uh, what's the word when something stays the same? Consistent, that's it. From now on, I need to have a clear and consistent message that Aaron is my target. I want her gone because she is the biggest threat to win the game. But I'm feeling pretty decent right now because it seems like on such a short week that, or a short week while we've still been at Michigan, that there hasn't really been much strategizing or much of anything really at all. So, but you think that if we vote Devin out, then Will would definitely vote with us instead of go to Dylan and Cassie? I, Will is somehow very comfortable with me. Because at this point, I no longer had any game relationship with Erin anymore. She like completely threw me under the bus to Cassie and Dylan. Um, yeah, so either like if they were smart, they would plot against us. Yep. But <laughs> let's just hope that's not the case. I hope that too. Logically, if I was in Dylan and Cassie's position, I would probably vote me out because it just makes more sense. I don't feel as though I'm in a bad position. Um going forward, so I think that as long as I continue with the relationships that I currently have, I don't think I'm, I don't imagine myself having a problem in the near future. Dude, so are you a survivor too? Yeah. How many are left? Six. 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 So you need close to $100. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. But now both of you can have it, so what happens if you're the last two? Who's uh, gonna we'll get this fight for? Yeah, yeah. Who's it gonna be though? Oh, Out of you two. You? Um, according to the survey? According to the survey. At least the people in the, yeah. Um, then go to final three with Brady, either Dylan or Cassie and me. And then Brady or I wins the final immunity challenge and we, the two of us are sitting in the final two. Like, we're, I don't think, we're not gonna turn on each other. We basically tell each other everything. So, basically had Ben for the first half of the game and I have Aaron, we're just like, kind of like, perfect. Let's take each other to the end and see what happens. Like right now, I think Will and Devin are a pair, and Dylan and Cassie are a pair. And then Brady and I are a pair, but that's a, you know, I don't, I don't, I hope that nobody has picked up on that yet. I don't think that anyone thinks that like we're, you know. Yeah, just especially because. As far as I know. As why does Aaron time. want to go to the end of Brady? It just don't fucking make sense. Why does Aaron want Brady to win this game so much? It's a, I can't stand it. Like, literally. So, I'm nervous that Brady goes out tonight. And, like, somehow Will convinces Dylan and Cassie to flip. And somehow I'm not clued into that. But, like, I don't know. I, that's my only worry. But I'm feeling okay that that's not going to happen. Zero hour, <laughs> 9 a.m. pre-flight. <laughs> Am I going home? No, I'm not. Dylan's with us. But maybe, maybe you are, but maybe not. I don't Dylan think you are. Dylan is so solid, he's buried in the center of the Hoover Dam. I guess the decision I have to make is, is Dylan truly with us? Uh, and by, by him being with us, is Cassie with us? So I think Dylan is underestimating Cassie's relationship with Aaron. When the demerge situation happened, I said, grab an orange buff, like, I think we believe in you, something like that. And she did. So then, 
I was really excited because now we got put in a great spot. She worked with the Scent Next Tribal and now we've met and we are the Girl Power Alliance. I don't really know what Cassie is thinking. Like she has more recently like, you know, showed some sort of allegiance to Aaron, which I have no idea where that came from, but I know like the whole mean girls thing happened at that one tribal, but like genuinely I do want to build up other women and other people around me. And I think that this is a good opportunity to do that, and I also think that we can work together in the game. So, I'm I'm pretty excited. My worry is is that Cassie is like, you know, playing with Aaron, and if Aaron doesn't want Brady to go home, then she'll she's just gonna tell Dylan like I'm not voting Brady, and and if she's really more loyal to Aaron, then she's gonna have you know me or Will go home, and you know then I'm screwed. Back thinking on the jury, there's a lot of sabu sabu there now, and like they're really tight. I just cannot imagine Austin's boat or maybe even Aliza's, going anywhere but to a Sabu Sabu. Wait, so it's 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 no, we're trying to find we're trying to figure it out, but we'll see. All right. Should we? Should you? I don't know. I don't know. I want to, but like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and I don't want to like blow it up. I don't know what he'd have on this thing. Yeah, there's- I don't know. Or Aaron might. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't okay. Know. All right. We'll see. I think it's fine. I believe it. That was really solid eye contact. That was really sketch, though. That eye contact was slightly too <laughs> solid. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and I want to go to final two with Devin. And I want to kick his ass. And I want to be the sole survivor of Survivor Michigan, season three, Mazed and Confused. Because this game is about sliding ahead of those fuckers one by one until you're the last one left. That's what I came here to do. That's what I'm going to do. So at the, at the end of the day, you know, it really just comes down to, you know, my relationship with Dylan, you know, I, I trust him, like I know he's with me, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm really nervous because he could have to be loyal to Cassie, and if Cassie wants to keep Brady because of Aaron, then, you know, he has no choice. Um, so I'm definitely nervous, I, I could be on the, on the chopping block and I could go home this week, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, and now we will welcome in the members of our jury. Emily P, Aliza, and Austin voted out at the last Tribal Council. All right, guys, welcome to Tribal Council. We'll get right to it. Dylan, obviously, you, Brady, Cassie, Aaron have stuck together for a while. Any reason for that not to continue this week? Unless there's twists thrown at us, I think it's pretty straightforward. That's <laughs> a fair statement. So Devin, Will's got immunity around his neck. <laughs> the four of them have been pretty tight for a while. Where does that leave you, and what are you trying to do this week? Leaves me at the bottom. Um, I wish I was on their side, but clearly I'm in the minority. Will, do you make any play to try to save Devin at all this week? Sure, of course. I've been uh, doing the best of my ability to save Devin this week. Um, I mean, basically, my pitch it's just that, you know, I love you, Brady, but this literally could be the only chance to ever get you out of the game before you win. And that's basically the pitch, and I'll tell them anyone who will listen to it. So, uh, I just hope that uh, there are numbers somewhere to do that. Brady, obviously, will call you out, saying he's pretty much going to vote for you this week. Does that make you nervous at all? Obviously, you've been immune the last couple weeks. Oh, yeah. But well, I've had a target on my back for a bunch of weeks now. I mean... If I go home, I go home, but I can see. Aaron, do you think there's big targets in the game that everybody can see right now? Or is there kind of a level playing field, nobody's really standing out as a huge target or somebody who's not really playing? Um, I think there's definitely like levels of targets in the game. I think for the most part it's even, but like as Brady said, you know, he's had a giant target on his back, like walking around with it from day one. But like like barring that and it's like but that's also a good reason to like keep the guy around right because that's a target you always know is going to be above you so and at the same time like you talk big moves and yeah getting out the big targets the big move but at this point it's like will and devin's big move 
And if like these people go along with it, you're not making a big move. You're just betraying someone who's been loyal to you for weeks. And that's all you're doing there. You're not making a big move. And so, I don't know. The only thing that the whispering in my mind is doing is like, they're trying to make us nervous. And like, let's say Will gives his immunity to Devin. We just vote out Will instead, so. Wow. <laughs> Will's that make you want to give up immunity this week at all? Not really. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know, it just hurt a little bit coming from Aaron, but also like I can dish it so I can take it, you know, it makes sense. But um, that's whatever. I don't know, I don't think I have much of a strategic relationship anymore with you, to be honest. Like, I tried to work with you a little bit today, and you made it clear that you have no interest in working with me ever again, and that's fine. So, if everyone wants to know that, that's, I'm fine with that being a fact. Yeah, Will also told me today that, you know, he's not, he doesn't want to sit next to me in the final two, so if that's something that he wants to tell me and then think that I'm still going to have a strategic relationship with you, then... Well, I didn't want to lie to your face either, okay. so, I, I mean, it. it's just all out there, I guess. So... But I think you're great. I think you're great too. Okay. All right, then with that, it is time to vote. Will, you are up first. Even if this does work, I still might need to win every challenge for the rest of the game. But if this works tonight, then I have a hell of a lot better chance of winning the rest of the challenges. That's all I can say. So, um, hopefully second time's the charm. Is that what they say? <laughs> I spelled strike wrong. Oh boy. Here's to hoping that no one flipped on me this week. Just hoping it's not me. Um, okay. This is, you know, a move for loyalty, it's an easy move, um, and you also just didn't talk to literally anyone this week, so, like, you didn't even try to save yourself. I'll go tally the votes. Alright, if anyone has a hidden immunity item and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. <laughs> season finale of Survivor Michigan. But at this point, if I put all this time and energy and thought to this game, and I don't come out on top, I'm gonna lose my shit. Aaron, Dylan is 100% solid that he wants you gone. Like, No way, no way. Yeah. I, don't, I don't buy for a minute. No, me neither. She thinks she could beat Aaron in Final Tribal. Obviously, this is really scary. Can you do? They made the best decision they could have made. So. Who do you think it was? Dylan Cassie. I don't think Aaron would have flipped on me. But so, yeah. I think who are you, they, who are you rooting for now? Aaron. I think they made the best decision they could have made, and I hold nothing against them. Still love them. So, yeah. Her? <sighs> Sorry, man. It's just it's just time. Mahalo. Wow. That was something.